This morning I asked Joe to help me with a custom shell build I've been working on, and I still have to get all the electric done. And Joe's not an electrician, but simple things that'll help me move this process along. Get a dump part. Jessica, our project manager, asked that we finish it up because she scheduled it to leave in a couple of days. Me and Joe are gonna get pretty far today with this shell build, but just to make sure that we can finish, I've asked Dave to come from the airport to help me really wrap this up. He handles a lot of mechanicals at the airport, so I know that this is a really simple job for him. How's the airport? Good. This thing's shipping out tomorrow, so. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So, I want this out of here. Where's this going? This unit is going to Ohio. But it, the steel stud wall is two parts. So the wall is, it's like two studded walls okay. to make up this thing. And then the panels are only four feet, mm -hmm. but they, um, so the panels come four feet wide by however tall you need them. Right. And then they go into this press and then all this polystyrene bead gets blown into the press and then it gets hit with a shit ton of steam. And the steam is what cures it and makes it, makes it solid as hell, yeah. And that's fine, we'll, we'll strap to the side of the joist right there. Is there any olives in the lock yet? Top secret. Yeah. yeah, it's top secret. All right. right now. Surprise stuff. I get it. I yeah. get it. All right. All right. Thanks. Good talk, Jessica. <laughs> thanks for thanks for sharing. Per, per yeah, usual. I, right. Jeff has been building some custom cabinets for the airport. One of the problems we have over there is there's a lot of dust. So these cabinets have a vacuum inside of them that turns on automatically when you turn on the saw. Like this one, and then there's my boring ass box. And I want to see like who acts like a two year old and is like, well, I want this one. Yeah. Well, this one's mine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like, this one's mine. Don't worry, Juan will hit it with the van and snap the legs right off. Yeah, it. right. Let's fuck it right up. <laughs> huh. Jessica was supposed to bring back a cord to the shop. And uh, so that we could test the, the, the rough-in unit that we were working on. And uh, I, I don't know, uh, Joe called her. And apparently she was, Jessica was cleaning the unit or something. They're supposed to be done and they weren't. And so anyway, me and Joe are on our way to the airport to see what's going on. And uh, it, just, it just never ends, you know, it's, just, it's always, it's always something, so we're, we're growing and we're trying to manage all the highs and lows of personalities and trying to keep everybody motivated and not burning people out. It just seems like lately uh, we've hit a pay streak of people getting burnt out. So, uh, it's so. It's okay. so basically, Jessica made everybody stay late. You know, it's now like 5.30. I honestly, I don't know what... what what's going on. I just know that uh, it's not a very energetic uh, crew this time of the day. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, we have uh, Jessica to kind of keep things in line and uh, 
you know, let everybody know that, you know, when we don't hit our, our marks, you know, that we got to stay late and, and do what we have to do to get the job done. And I think one of the nights this week, I'm going to stay late and just kind of wrap some shit up and, and, uh, reorganize this this place because it is a mess and uh so we need to pick up the pace and uh get some attitudes and in, into some high gear and i think it'll I think things will pan out Jessica wraps it up with the shipper this morning. I've decided to go to the airport and get started on cleaning that place up. So I've had the guys clean up as much as they can. But before anything else is done, this old office has to go. 